Now, in a previous video, we've shown you, we, we had all these uh, values here, the amount of money people spent on downloads in a month, and we put them in a stem and leaf diagram. Okay, with this and the key, so one slash four, it means 14. Now, once you've got this, you may well be asked to find the median, the lower quartile, upper quartile, and interquartile range. So, I'm gonna show you how to do that very quickly. Now, for the uh, median, we need to find the middle number. Okay, so, like before, we're gonna cross off one from the beginning, one from the end, one from the beginning, one from the end, until we're left with one or two in the middle. So, one from the beginning, one from the end. One from the beginning, one from the end, one from the beginning, one from the end, one from the beginning, one from the end, one from the beginning, one from the end. So here we go, here's our median, and that is 14. Okay, now, for the lower and upper quartiles, you may well have seen um, uh, another video that, where we had a list of numbers and we showed you how we did that as well. So I'm gonna show you, once we've got our median, we're looking at finding the middle value of these five here. So if I cross off and I'm gonna do another tick above, one from the beginning, one from the end, one from the beginning, one from the end. Here is the lower quartile, so we get uh, nine being the lower quartile. If I just quickly grab another color, we're doing the same with this, one from the beginning, one from the end, one from the beginning, one from the end, and we end up with 19 being the upper quartile, okay? So it's similar to what we've done before where we had the numbers listed out. Now the interquartile range is just the difference between the upper quartile and the lower quartile, so that would be 10, and I ought to put pound signs in front of all of those, but it's not a major issue. As long as you've got the numbers and you're showing how you do it correctly, then that's fine. So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own. So I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself. But what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done.